Eric, congratulations. Good game of the weekend. Yeah, um, obviously it was very disappointing to get the draw in the end. It was our first game of the year in RDS and we had such a good crowd out. And I know we have a proud home record here and we wanted to win. And it was a bit of an anti climax in the draw, but yeah, it was very disappointing in the end. The but personally, result. personally, you must have been happy. Uh, personally, happy enough for my game, yeah. Just went through the video there. Yeah, there's some positives, but also some negatives and stuff for me to work on for next year. What do you think they are? Positives and negatives. Yeah. Uh, positives to work, I uh, take from it. I suppose I was getting slagged by a few of the lads on a bit of a kickoff return specialist at the moment. That's all I seem to be getting. But yeah, I suppose just looking for a bit more ball in the open play. Like I haven't got much in attack yet. So I was trying to improve there and then keep improving on my defence. We have a new system in place. So I was just keep trusting the system and moving forward with that. Now, a bit of history in the family with Leinster. Yeah. Can you tell us yeah. a bit about that? Yeah, my dad, Declan, um, I think he's. 36 odd caps for Leinster back in the 80s. He would have played with Luke's dad as well, uh, Lucas Sherrod dad Des as well. And yeah, he's uh, obviously a proud Leinster man. He's delighted at the moment. Yeah. And uh, looking ahead into um, the Glasgow game at the weekend, we've got an away game. Yeah, uh, it's a massive game for us. Glasgow obviously last season sort of improved massively. They end up losing it to Leinster in the semi final. Uh, they started off very strong. They'd be the good card at Blue side. They went to Ravenhill and win, which is a massive result for them. And I know that coach Greg Hansen's already said they want to go on and beat us this week and we want to beat them so we're just going to do everything we can this week. Do you look at your stats after a game? Do you, you win those GPS uh, Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do this. The S&C guys do go through some of the stats for us after Would games. you be an, an analysis man or what way do you approach um, it? Yeah, a small bit, like a uh, small bit into the stats, but you know, if you walk off pitch and you're happy with your own game, that's the main thing. Like uh, You can have all the stats you want, but you could have one small mistake that costs the game, so stats mean nothing. Then. Listen, best look at the weekend. Hope you get another selection. Thank you.